Welcome back, everyone. We know how important sleep is, and considering we spend one third of our lives doing it, it's pretty crucial to get it right. But do we ever get enough of it? And are we getting good quality sleep? With the pandemic still causing lots of stress and anxiety, we might need a little extra help. But instead of counting sheep, why not try bedtime yoga? Yes, Seth Mohan is here to share some moves to get us sleeping better. Seth, welcome back. We are going to start with some breath work, right? That's right. Hi, Tracy. Thank you so much for having me here. Um, so last time I was here, we spoke about box breathing, which is one of the ways to regulate your mood. And the breath really is one of the most effective ways to modulate our nervous system, which has two parts, the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic. Now, the inhale is stimulating and it activates your sympathetic nervous system. The exhale is calming and it activates the parasympathetic. So for the purpose of sleep, what we want to do is favor the parasympathetic. And the way we do that is by extending the exhale. Mm. So let's go ahead and do this together. You can release all the air from your body. Then breathe in for count of one, two, three, four. Hold one, two, three, four. Out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold one, two, three, four. My eyes now, if you are find the to holding shine, to four is a little bit challenging. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. And, you know, sometimes the hold to four might be challenging. So you can shorten that or shorten the eight to six. But the idea is to make the exhales longer than the inhale. And one of the benefits of focusing on the breath, it actually gets you out of your head and into the body. And that's especially helpful if you find yourself caught in a stressful thought loop. And it's another great way to, you know, just feel your body, feel your chest and belly rise and fall with each breath. And that helps to kind of bring awareness into the body and let that body awareness spread everywhere. Yeah, I've been practicing the exhale with my daughter. Um, and at the beginning, we would just laugh about it. And now it's like we're getting somewhere. So I think it is really good and really relaxing. Uh, love it. So let's get to those yoga poses, awesome. shall we? What have you got up first for us? Yes, absolutely. So we're going to start off lying down on our back. And the pose is called waterfall pose. So you're comfortably lying down. You're on your bed. <sighs> You can let your arms rest and one at a time lift your legs up into your chest and then extend the heels up towards the ceiling now you want to feel a little bit of a stretch here in the hamstrings you don't have to worry about straightening your legs out all the way but the hamstrings can get tight during the course of the day so get them to stretch a little bit here and raising your legs up in the air like this is soothing for our nervous system so you can hang out here you can breathe and then we're going to transition into happy baby where you take your knees wide and you're going to reach up with your hands and grab hold of you're going to bend the knees and grab hold of your calves your ankles your feet whatever you have access to and have the arms press into the inner thighs and you're going to just pull gently down with your hands and you want to keep your head and your lower back in contact with the bed so not letting your tailbone lift too far off you want to keep your movements gentle. You can rock a little side to side, kind of massage the back of your sacrum. Again, stay with the breath here. Stay with your body. Seth, right now the microphones are massaging the back of my sacrum. <laughs> Don't do this at home with microphones, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way to do it, right? <laughs> and then from here, we're going to transition into a twist. So you want to bring your knees and your feet together. And open the arms into a wide T with your palms facing up. And on an exhale, lower your legs down to the right side. And as you lower your legs down, you can continue looking up. You can look towards your stretched left hand. You can also take your right hand and just place it on that left thigh to deepen the stretch. You're welcome to close the eyes if you like. And just breathe here. Breathe into your sides. Breathe into any of the muscles where you feel the stretch happening. Feels great. These deep breaths. Yeah, it's a great stretch, one of my favorites. And then on an inhale, you're going to lift your knees back up to center. And then as you exhale, gently lower your legs over to the other side. And I can, you can choose the same hand position. The other thing to notice as well is if your shoulder starts to lift way off the mat, you want to try to keep the shoulder pressing down on the mat or the mattress wherever you are. And breathing here. And twists are great for our spine and also great for our 
internal organs, as we discussed last time, Tracy. It feels so good on the spine. And breathing Absolutely, here. and really good for digestion, I've heard as well. But my absolute favorite pose That's right. is the one at, that we're about to do right now. <laughs> it's coming up. It's coming up. So you're going to inhale and lift the knees back in. And what I want you to do before we relax is actually tense up. So I want you to wrap your arms around the shins, bring your nose between the knees, tuck into a tight ball, and consciously tense up all the muscles in your body. So your arms, your shoulders, even the muscles in your face, just get as tight as you can for a few seconds here. And then like a spring uncoiling, just release with an exhale and take up space around you. Let your arms open out. Let your feet go wide. Let the ankles roll outward. And you can place your hands on your chest and belly if you want a little bit more grounding energy. And close the eyes if you haven't already. Just relax the space around the eyebrows. Let your eyes and tongue drop back. Soften the cheeks and the throat. And relaxing your jaw, let your shoulders and arms feel heavy. And finding support for your spine as you relax the low back. And let go of the hips, soften the back of the knees. It might not be scintillating television, but it sure feels good, everyone. I hope at home you're following along because... <laughs> These are, the, these are the little movements that can make such a huge difference in just winding yourself down. We're on our phones all day. We're talking to people. We're listening to traffic. You need to calm yourself down uh, before you can have a great night's sleep. Thank you, Seth.